recently we headed to Vilas County to study salamanders. Hi, I'm Mitch. Today we're going to go out into the woods and look for redback salamanders. We're going to go in and, and look under cover boards, which I made, that simulate um, coarse woody debris and, and logs. And we're going to look underneath there um, and see how many salamanders we can find. Uh, the reason we're trying to do this is to, to try to find out how healthy this forest is. Um, the numbers of salamanders kind of tell us how healthy this forest is. So we're going to go in and, and, and count salamanders, um, see how many we can find. So you guys ready to do that? Yeah. OK, let's go in there. OK. Hey, there's the pink flag. Yeah, it's not far. It's right up next to this pink flag. Once we pass this pink flag, we'll look for a, a yellow stake, and that's where the cover boards are. That's the corner of the cover cover board plot. We'll start start checking right here. <coughs> this is what the cover boards look like. They're just um, pieces of wood that rep look like coarse woody debris, and they, underneath there, it's a moist habitat. So the salamanders crawl underneath there, and that's that's where they live. There's no salamanders here, but we'll go through. There's 50 of them in this whole area, so we'll go through and look underneath all these, and hopefully we'll find a salamander. Because the salamanders right have moist skin, they need to stay where it's moist, like under logs or the cover boards where it stays damp. And sure enough, they found one, perfect for Mitch's study. Now he has to see if this salamander has been marked and take his data. They can tell if the salamander was marked before by using blue blocker glasses and an ultraviolet light. When it has a tattoo, the tattoo will show up under the light. If it doesn't, then Mitch will give it a mark. This one's never been marked. The easiest way to mark them, to keep them straight, is to put them in a Ziploc bag. Will only suffocate? No. We put the, the mark in the back legs, we put it right in the legs. But in the front, their legs are so tiny that you put it right under their skin, um, right on his back, but on the right side. So it goes in, and we'll just slide it through the bag and right underneath his skin. So now we're going to take him out of the bag and look at his mark to see how well his mark is. And if somebody wants to put on the glasses, and I'll shine the light on there, and look right on his right front area, and you'll see a little glowing spot. See that? I can see it. It's a little dot. So you can see that he's got a, a mark on his, on his right side there that's red. Yep, and it's just like a tattoo. That'll stay just underneath his skin for the rest of his life. So the Next time we capture them, we can shine this light on them, and that little spot will glow, and we'll know that the right salamander's front. right front red. So now we'll, we'll let them go where we found them. Mm. Take them. Wasn't he under this board? He was under C4, yep. Yeah. And what we'll do, instead of picking it up, you guys found them right in here, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of putting them there, what we do, we put the board down and we let him crawl underneath where he was. Because if we put the board down, we'll smash him. So, oh, he, oh, he almost jumped. jumped back in there. So you want to pick him up and put him right there and aim him underneath the board. There, he should crawl right underneath where he came from. Mm -hmm. Cool. There we go. The coolest thing I learned today was how he tags him with the needle thing. The favorite thing I learned and saw today was how Mitch tagged the salamanders and how you can make the habitat to find them in. I think Mitch's job is really, really cool, and I might want to do that when I grow up. We think it's cool, too. Maybe when you're out in the woods, you can turn over some logs and find a couple of these guys. Yeah. Thanks, Mitch. That was fun. Yep. Yeah. Portions of the preceding program were co-produced by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and Discover Wisconsin Productions as part of the children's television series, Into the Outdoors.